Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making jellyfish resin coasters. I found a fun fabric at a local hobby store, and it inspired me to make jellyfish coasters, so the first thing I'm doing is mixing my part A and part B resin together. Then I separate it into a smaller cup to add my pigment, and I'm pouring onto this wooden mixing stick to transfer less air bubbles. I'm going to be using Dupont's alcohol ink in the shade River Blue to achieve a very light and transparent base color. I add a few drops and mix it into my resin. Then I start pouring into my molds. As always, I'll have affiliate links in my description, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, make sure to check that out. I didn't pour enough, so I'm adding some more clear resin into my cup and repeating the process of adding a few drops of alcohol ink, and then I pour into my mold around the edges. And I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles. And I'm pouring a tiny bit of clear resin into the center of the molds. The next pigment I'm going to be using is Deepon's Ocean Wave Pigment Paste. I make sure to mix it well in the container before I take a small amount onto my wooden stick and mix it into my cup of resin. Now I'm going to set that aside for a bit and get my fabric ready. This is the fabric that I found. It's a very thin material and I'm just going to outline where I want to cut out. If I'm correct, this part of the jellyfish is called the bell or bell-shaped body. And now that I have that ready, I'm going to return to my resin now that it's thickened a little bit. I take my white pigmented resin and with the wooden stick, I start to drag it through the resin in the mold in the shape of tentacles. After a while, it actually starts to look like a jellyfish, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that was a lame joke, but now I'm going to be adding some crushed mirror, and I just take some into the cap of the container and sprinkle it near the bottom of the mold. I decided to add in one more color into the tentacles, so I'm taking this gold shade of mica powder and adding it into my cup of resin. I'm also mixing in a little bit of Just Resin's bright gold pigment paste, as well as a drop of Resin Pro's Color Fun Deluxe red pigment. And I achieved this sort of dirty pink beige color and I'm going to be applying it into my mold with my wooden stick. Now I'm going to be adding in little gold leaf flakes into the area where the tentacles are as well.
and I decided to add some iridescent flakes as well. Now I'm going to leave that to thicken some more and return to my jellyfish bell body. I'm going to be sealing the fabric with Mod Podge. This step isn't entirely necessary, but it will minimize air bubbles that could escape from the fabric while in the resin, so it is a good idea to seal it just in case. I coated the front side and the back side with Mod Podge and allowed it to dry. Once the Mod Podge was dry, I returned to my coasters to carefully place them above the tentacles. Once they were all in the molds, I decided to push them down with a wooden stick so that they were completely covered with resin. And here's a clip of me demolding them the next day. I used an X-Acto knife to scrape off the edges before I added a top coat. I have a video showing the whole process of how we add a top coat, so if you're interested to see that, I'll leave a link above. After I added a top coat, I applied a gold trim. And I started it off just by applying it on the edges, but later I decided to add a gold trim on the sides as well. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.